All right, today is the story of this coin here. This is a uh, commemorative dollar coin. And I'm going to bring it in here. As you can see, it says Trenton, Ontario, 1880 to 1980. There's the uh, town's crest, city crest. I think that the crest and the motto may have changed since um, with the amalgamation of the uh, communities. The creation of Coney West, I think, uh, potentially has a new motto and a new um, um, coat of arms. Let's look at the other side. One centennial dollar and expires December 31st, 1980. So I think this was like a able to use for a year kind of thing during the centennial celebration. Uh, in this picture, um, I don't really know what's on the right there particularly. T for Trenton, I guess, but uh, that building is the um, downtown um, original City Hall. City Hall is now one block east, I guess, ish, of uh, of this location. Um, and it's like an $11 million monstrosity, which is pretty interesting for a town that's really not all that uh, uh, flush for money, let's say. So anyway, yeah, I remember this uh, year, I wasn't living in Trenton at the time, but I often uh, yearly would do, <clears throat> uh, travel home for a visit in the summertime and whatnot. And I remember not only acquiring these, but also uh, spending them. Um, they were kind of all over the place for a little bit, of course. Um, it's not full-blown currency, of course, because it has an expiry date and all that, and it's not issued by the uh, central bank. But, um, yeah. did a quick search on uh, Wikipedia about this coin and just a, like a, uh, I don't know, a coin evaluating website, I guess it was. And according to them, um, there was 25,000 of these made, uh, which is quite a bit because I don't think the population of Trenton at the time uh, was that. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure Trenton proper population is that now. I think they incorporated and became a city... Uh, I don't know, what, 15,000 or something like that, so... Anyway, but still, that's not a... That's not a lot of uh, coins when it comes down to it. It's just a lot compared to the uh, population. Now, the coat of arms here is interesting. Seems to be like a beaver on top. And, uh... In the upper left <coughs> quadrant is, um... An axe on uh, stump. An axe on wood. I think in the upper right there is a uh, either a water wheel or a grind wheel. I think it's probably a water wheel, uh, which is appropriate. In the lower left, there's a really weird one. It's like kind of like a sheep, but it has a some kind of weird strap and hook around it. So I don't know what the hell that's all about. Sounds pretty nefarious, no matter what. And in the lower right is um, a, a bundle of wheat. So anyway, the motto here is, uh, I, I don't know Latin, but I've looked it up and whatnot, and uh, I think it says Labor Omnia Vincit, which, um, according to uh, Wiki Translate or whatever, is uh, um, work conquers all, essentially. So a very labor-oriented thing, and uh, it's it's a pretty appropriate uh, shield or uh, or um, it's a pretty appropriate uh, sentiment because um, obviously there's lots of agriculture in the area. Uh, the water wheel makes sense because it's uh, right on the lake and um, the uh, Trent Severn waterway cuts through the whole area. So water is very important. Um, chopping of wood, I guess. I mean, it would have been treed at one point. And... Uh, but I have no idea what the hell is up with... This is not going to focus on this. I don't think it's too close. I have no idea what's up with the sheep with the uh, 
you know, full on strap and like the thing ready to get lifted by like a hoist or something. That's a little strange, I'd say. So yeah, here we see 1880 to 1980. That is the centennial period. And uh, yeah, so I found this in the stuff that came from the house, and I knew I had one somewhere, um, or I knew I would find this again at some point. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits here. It's just a quick little dealie. And uh, thank you for watching.